Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams and in this tutorial, Extra Normal State tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the camera tools and I'll be showing you how to adjust the camera position, how to create a camera library and how to choose a camera shot within your scene. Okay, so we'll be learning how to use the camera tools in Extra Normal State. Okay, with this tool here, we can rotate in the X or Y direction. That's horizontal or vertical. Okay, so... And we have a pan shot or tool where we can move left, right, down or up. Okay, we got a look, it's called a look tool, but it, it's if you're moving your head looking up or down, or left or right, it's like doing a camera tilt or pan. Okay, the roll button, roll tool, we can tilt the scene as in a Dutch tilt. Ooh, vertigo. That's a nice shot there. So I'll just put... Ooh. Okay. Okay, then we have a dolly tool where we push forward and we can move in. Or we pull back on the mouse and we move back. we got a zoom tool we just click the left key okay move forward hold it down the left mouse key move it forward zoom in pull it back zoom out then we've got the zoom selection tool where we want to do a close up of Lisa we just highlight her Wow, we've gone way too far. So I'm using the dolly to pull back. Don't know what happened there. Move around. I don't want to move it right back. Okay, so I'm way over here. And then I'll just highlight Lisa and Joe. Let's see, there we go. Alrighty, so I'm going to pull this back. So I'm going to set up my shot. I'm going to set up an over shoulder shot, as in having a conversation, getting in a little closer. That's better. Now, here we have a, a media library and select the camera. And we can, okay, I want this shot here. So I click the plus sign and that will create a library of that shot. Now I just want to whiz around here. And move it aside. Okay, there. It does take a while to set up your shot, but once you've decided what angles you want your shot to be, you can set up a library, and then it's a matter of cutting to the camera angles. Okay, so we'll add that. Okay, so we got three shots. This is one already set up establishing shot so we see the two characters or actors then we have our over the shoulder looking at Lisa over the shoulder looking at Joe now if we go over here to our scene and put the cursor in front or at the place we want the camera to be shown in the scene so click the camera it places a camera there to have the camera 
we need to choose what camera to put in here so I'll do the establishing shot drag it over here and then we go to Lisa because she's talking now put a camera there okay so now we'll cut to Joe a close-up we'll put a camera there there we go and we get the shot of Joe now with this shot I want to get closer closer to Lisa there we go add the shot to my library there we go put the cursor there click that to put the camera in yes that's working so we got Lisa there and then go to Joe I want to get closer to Joe yeah, a little more, a little bit more closer Joe with Lisa on the left I'll add that scene there or that shot there we go and as I said it's not normally slow like this it's just I'm using a screencasting program and it's just creating havoc there we go so we got Joe and I will go to back to the establishing shot so click the camera please work ah yes good there we go all right so that's how you use the camera tools create a library the camera shot library and then all we do is we play the movie and see what happens. Hi Lisa, how are you today? I'm feeling great today, Joe. Really? Why is that? I get to act in a movie. A movie? Yes, Daryl's showing us how to use a camera. So that's it. Very easy to do. So that's the end of the tutorial on how to use the camera tools in extra normal state uh, there'll be a tutorial on my website that's fandangleproductions.com so if you go to my website there's be, there'll be a tutorial some extra information on the camera tools in extra normal state so leave a comment I'd like to hear from you maybe give some suggestions on future tutorials so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so for now, you have a good day. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.